Today we're going to be talking about pre-production and storyboarding. Um, so those are terms that you might not be too familiar with, but I'm going to try to break it down for you in a way that is understandable and digestible. So pre-production really just involves getting all the logistics together before you start shooting. So I know that it's really exciting, you have your script, and you just want to turn on the camera and start filming. Um, but before that, we just want to go over some basics. The film schedule, the locations, who's going to be part of your film crew, getting all of those logistics sorted out, what equipment you'll need, what gear you'll need, and then obviously what you're going to shoot. And so before you can shoot something, we're going to storyboard it. So storyboarding is really the process of writing or drawing out what you want to see come to life for your video. Um, so I know that you have your script already, but we're going to use that script and we're going to use it to develop a storyboard. So why a storyboard? You might hear that a lot of animators use it, but it's actually a really helpful tool for all creatives to storyboard their ideas and their process. Um, one thing that storyboarding helps to do is it helps you to organize your thoughts. It helps you to figure out what is essential and what you want to show people visually. Um, it also helps you to plan better, um, just to be able to see things in chronological order visually um, will then help you when you are shooting to visualize exactly what you want to shoot. So another reason why we storyboard is to be able to share our ideas. It's a very easy way to show someone a picture and to be like, here, do you understand what this means? Do you understand where the story is going? It also helps you to identify problems that might be occurring in your story or things that might not link up together that in your mind sounded perfect. But when you go to actually write it out, you think, wait, this doesn't actually really make sense. Um, so there's a variety of reasons why we storyboard. It's really to help us to plan things out well and to set us up for a good video, to set us up for a good production. Um, so yeah, in your assignment today, you're actually going to be learning how to do your own storyboard. And I put in a storyboard template for you to follow. It's really simple. It's just a bunch of squares and then there's some lines at the bottom. So now that you understand the importance of storyboarding, um, I'm going to walk you through the seven steps that you need to actually create your storyboard. So the first is define what you want to accomplish. Define what the goal is. Um, so I want you to actually write a synopsis for your film. So I asked you to write, write a synopsis earlier for a film that you watched. And so now with your script in hand, the one that was about your testimony, I want you to write a one to two sentence description of what, what the video is going to look like. What is your story about? Try to keep it as short as possible, um, but as clear as possible to what you're doing. So once you've figured out the purpose of your video, um, then you want to sit down and brainstorm ideas of what this is going to look like. Um, so if you mentioned about your childhood, then do you want to add photos of your childhood? Do you want to show people a video of what your city looks like or where you grew up? So these all add to build a visual story for people to understand kind of what you're talking about. So after you've brainstormed some ideas, you're going to move on to being able to create a timeline. So a timeline basically goes from beginning, middle to end, right? And so your video also will have a beginning, middle and end. So just like the movie that you analyzed before, um, it had an exposition, it had the rising action, it had the climax, it had the falling action, and then it had the resolution. So your story is gonna kind of fall along this, the same timeline and the same structure. Um, if you wanna change it up, that's totally fine too. Your beginning can start at the end but you also wanna follow along with what the script is that you wrote um, as closely as possible. And then in the future, if you look at the storyboard later and you decide, oh, this isn't interesting enough, you can always rearrange the boxes and rearrange um, the ideas. But for the most part, we want you to be able to have a clear beginning, middle and end so that people understand where you're taking them throughout your story. So after that, after you created a timeline, um, you're going to want to draw in those boxes. You're going to want to draw exactly what you want to show people. So it can be stick figures. It doesn't have to be really complicated. Um, but drawing the beginning of how it started. So you can start maybe with a map. You can start with the world. You can start with a different kind of visual image that will catch people's attention. So you notice in a lot of 
movies sometimes they'll start with a really big bird's eye view of like the whole city and then it goes closer maybe to a street and then it goes to someone walking so that's a, a visual way to establish a location or kind of where someone is at so think of those ideas as you're brainstorming for your storyboard how can you be as creative as possible with the resources that you have uh, granted you don't have drone footage or you can find drone footage online um, but try to be as creative as you can with just what you have. Okay, so now that you have your, your storyboard drawn out, you're going to write out all the details of each scene that's happening. Um, so I've given you lines in your template, and you should just be able to write what's happening in the scene. So if you want the camera to zoom in on um, the street or this view of your city, um, then you're going to write that in. Camera zooms in. And so you're going to write very specific instructions for kind of how you want the camera to be moving or you want the characters to be moving. If it's just you speaking, then you can just write, you know, I'm looking at the camera and sharing about the story. Um, so yeah, try to use as many visual elements as you can and just be creative. Um, nothing is set in stone at this point and it's really just a way for you to look at it and kind of Imagine what it could be. So after you have your your drawings done and your details written out, what I want you to do is you, I want you to share it with someone. Um, so throughout the week, share it with your wife, share it um, with those in your neighborhood and share about your story with them and show them the storyboard and make sure it makes sense to them. If they point out things that they're not sure about or they might be confused about what this means, um, then maybe try to revise it. Uh, try to make it so that um, you have a clear picture of what you're going for and making sure that other people understand that vision as well. So that's basically it. Um, so you really want to be able to have a solid storyboard to share with someone and then you're gonna revise it after that. And then after that, you're going to upload it and send it to us. So after you've done that, you have your storyboard in handy, you can print out as many sheets as you need. Um, there's no limit, um, but just try to be as clear as possible in your drawings. So after you have your storyboard, um, what I'm gonna need you to do is to create a film schedule. So I know that you're probably not having to work on a big set um, and you're probably just working with a couple people or maybe just yourself and that's completely fine. Um, but a good way for you to practice a, um, a very organized way of doing things is to create a film schedule. And what this details is it tells you exactly what the time and date are for each of the shoots that you plan to do, what scene it is, the location, what equipment you need, who you need to be in the shoot, any props, and any notes for the camera or lighting person. Um, and so I've uploaded a template for you to follow on Excel. So you're going to need to download Google Excel, edit the file directly um, for your video. And so you're going to use your storyboard and kind of decide, well, what day or time would be most convenient for me to shoot? Um, I've also made a note for you to plan at least a month out because um, I'm going to take you through a couple more lessons before you actually end up shooting. So try to pick a realistic date that you'll be free. And if anyone needs to help you to set up the lights or the camera, um, make sure they're free as well on that day. So I hope this made sense. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but that's the basics of pre-production, storyboarding, and making a film schedule. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be very complicated, um, but it does have to be clear to you and to me what's happening for your shoot. So best of luck and I will talk to you soon. Bye.